Aeroponics really are the epitome of gardening. You're not going to find a faster, hardier, or more conservative way to grow plants, period. Scientists have discovered that by oxygenating the roots and giving them more air than water and nutrients actually leads to substantial growth. Obviously, delivering water and nutrients to your plants is crucial for their survival, and there are four different ways to do that with aeroponics. There's the high-pressure aeroponics, low-pressure aeroponics, fog ponics, and what I call hybrid aeroponics. I went ahead and made a guide for you as well. If that's something you would like to use as a resource, it is absolutely free and it's linked up in the description box below. So NASA actually documented their own high pressure aeroponic build for use on space shuttles. And they record the most substantial growth from plants that received between 30 and 50 micron droplets, which is like a fine mist. So first I wanna discuss HPA or high pressure aeroponics. I can't recommend an HPA build for a beginner. It's by far the most complicated way to grow pretty much anything. I can't think of a more complicated setup than a high pressure aeroponics setup. You have to have a tank to hold the pressure and then you deliver that pressure uh, with nutrient water and very, very tiny spray heads to your plants. There's a lot that can go wrong. Um, so you really have to be familiar with your whole setup here. However, the growth is by far the best over any other aeroponics setups. An HPA setup gives you incredible control over almost every variable. You can control the, the droplet size through the spray heads, uh, the pressure through a regulator, the nutrient density, the spray time, angle, and the velocity. It really is a control for extreme. But as I mentioned before, HPA setups can be a bit daunting for beginners. So let's talk about my favorite type of aeroponic build, the LPA, or low pressure aeroponics. One of the reasons I love low pressure aeroponics is because you can buy everything you need to build one at your local hardware store. And a lot of LPA setups just use uh, simple irrigation lines and spray heads. The principles are the same as they are with a high pressure aeroponics setup, only this time the droplet size is gonna be much larger. And there's no pressure tank. The pressure is built by the pump and the size of the tubing that you got. Now with both HPA and LPA setups, you'll need to use a highly dissolvable nutrient solution because one of the main issues you can run into is clogged heads. This happens a lot more with HPA builds, but essentially what happens is larger particulates of the nutrients get stuck in the head, they build up and they clog your head, which is no longer able to spray your plants, which is a huge problem, right? This is definitely less likely in an LPA build, but still something you need to be very aware of. Think about it like uh, one of those adjustable spray bottles. You know, HPA would be if you have it all the way tightened and it's just a very fine mist coming out. An LPA build would be like if you loosened it like halfway and it's just spraying droplets at your plants. They're gonna get much more wet. And a general principle with all aeroponic builds is I like to run them about 15 minutes every hour. Now this is up to you and I invite you to experiment with different time variables. The less, the better, but obviously you don't want your roots to completely dry out. If you built your garden properly, and it's nice and sealed, then the internal moisture should allow your plant to stay uh, nice and moist so it doesn't dry out. So now let's talk fog ponics. Fog ponics is super cool. Uh, however, the ultrasonic fogger has a ceramic plate on top that vibrates at a very high frequency, and that's actually what creates your fog. And these foggers I've noticed are very unpredictable. Um, they break pretty easily, and if they break when you're not aware, then you could kill your whole entire garden. I built several fog ponics set up, and there are two different types of fog ponics. There are what I call the cloner style fog ponics and the moving air style fog ponics. First, let's talk about the cloner style fog ponics. I call it cloner style because if you buy a cloner, um, even just off of Amazon, it usually has a fogger built into it. So the principles there are just gonna be uh, the nutrient water on the bottom, the fogger is gonna be floating on top of the nutrient water and filling all of that space between the top of the water and your plant with fog. And we're talking very, very tiny microns, like three to five microns, which is unbelievably small. I mean, it's fog, but if you don't, if you try to run them full time, then that can actually choke out your plants. So sticking to that 15 minute variable is also pretty important with fog ponics too. The cloner style would be akin to uh, like a DWC setup or a deep water culture with just a fogger floating on top. In fact, I made this video, uh, which is called uh, creating my DWC fog ponics setup. So the other style of fog ponics is moving air fog ponics. Uh, the principle here is similar with your vat of water and nutrients and having your fogger floating on top. However, you're going to have an, a fan blowing air in and moving it around your garden. I actually made a fog ponic tower garden. And as I discovered when I made that garden, that not all plants really take to fog ponics. 
uh, cabbage and kale do really well, um, but plants that need a lot more water are gonna suffer in a fog ponic setup. So now let's discuss the most popular style of aeroponics, the hybrid aeroponics setup. I call it a hybrid aeroponic setup because your roots are still gonna be suspended in air, but then you're gonna utilize different methods of hydroponics to deliver the water, like uh, drip hydroponics, or you can do an ebb and flow, or you can do even uh, an aeroponic wick system. The most popular hybrid aeroponic setup is the tower garden. With this method, you are suspending your roots in the side of the tower garden and then delivering the water through a hydroponic drip method. You're not gonna get the substantial insane growth that you would from like an HPA build. It'll be similar to what you get through a low pressure aeroponic, but the maintenance is phenomenal on these. You really don't have to worry about your plants at all. Now, one thing to note with your hybrid aeroponic setup is your plants are gonna get really wet really fast. So I would actually experiment with adjusting the timer on your pump. You could even take it all the way down to five minutes every hour because once the roots are saturated, that's really all they need for that hour until the next soaking. I love the hybrid aeroponic setups because they're easy. You can already use the principles that you learned from hydroponics and just suspend your roots in air and deliver water that way. It's very plain and simple and there's a reason that they're so popular. Aeroponics really is the future of hydroponics and hydroponics really is the future of farming uh, so I invite you to try different aeroponic setups report back what your findings are let me know in the description box below which build you're gonna be trying or have already tried and if you've had success or failure I love to learn about it and we all love to grow together so let's keep growing